Okay, hello, this is the Techno Man coming to you with another video. This time we are playing Ancestries, but this is a little different. I am going to give you a complete guide. So, uh, we just started off as a male and we have to go find our young one. Um, obviously, use your senses. So if if obviously if you're playing PC, press Y on your controller, B, hold down, memorize that. Always memorize things. So if you're going to something, always memorize it, because then uh, I've made the mistake sometimes of actually discovering something and then I forget where it was because I don't memorize it. Always memorize stuff. Okay, another tip. Here we are, comforting child. Listen for the little click. Oh, wait. Perfect. Okay, we got the child. Okay, this little bit, it's showing how important kids are. Because with kids, it's better to level up and all that. But we're not, right now we're just going to avoid discovering stuff for now. We just want to get this baby back to the clan because I'll tell you why when we get there. If I can get up there fast enough. But da 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 da. Don't you wish <laughs> you could be able to do this? Uh. Okay, and we're back. It's playing. Aww. Okay, this scene can be confusing. I'll tell you what I mean. Okay, what that scene meant. That female... Elder... Where'd she go? No, no... Oh, she went somewhere. Anyway, what that scene represent was in the beginning, the, I think this is her. Yes, okay, this is actually our mother. It doesn't say, but it actually is. If you look at the tongue, at the context well, in the beginning, the child is being carried by the grandfather. And as the male, when we came back with the child, we were sad because we had to pretty much, you know, uh, tell her pretty much, hey, your husband died. And, but here's your grandson. And I've seen several walkthroughs and people are like, oh, what does that mean? But no, I, I figured that out real quick. Okay, next tip. You, it is better Oh wait, where's our other kid? It is better to always carry around two kids all the time. But you want to have at a elderly an elder person with you all the time. But usually when you're exploring you want to be the adult male or female. But you want to have a elder with you at all times because if you decide you're going to go hunting, you switch to the elder and use them, well, to dispose of them. You can easily hunt with them so if they get, if they start bleeding out or there's no way of reviving them, you're not really losing anything because an elder 
they're gone. If you skip a generation, or yeah, you skip a generation, the elders are going to die anyway. So it's sad, but the elders, you can really dispose of them. They're easy to dispose of. Now, the starting area, you'll always start here if you're starting brand new. You want to discover as much as you can here. So we'll go ahead and discover stuff. I can, oh, no, 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 no. Inspect. He's going to be scared. Cool. Eat. Berries do not eat too many. You can eat up to three. Three berry, two to three berries. And that's actually good. Okay, next thing. This stuff right here I have in my hand. It's actually, oh, no, we got to discover it. All right, if you are bleeding, this stuff is good. Don't, don't eat, oh yeah, we don't got that yet. So I guess we can eat it. But in a little bit, um, you'll be able to um, switch hands and you want to alter it. Why do you want to alter this horsetail? It's because it can be a product to apply when you're bleeding. That is good. Next thing, obviously, water. Inspect. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's poison. No, I'm kidding. It's just water. Water is good. Water is always good. Oh, another tip uh, some people fail to realize. Whatever you do in your camp, eat sleep or drink water your clan will do that make sure you eat and drink inside your camp because they your clan mates will copy you all the time you want to make sure they're healthy too if you don't do it in camp when you get back you gotta make sure you do it again because oh we're freezing actually The reason why you want to do it is because, um, oh, what am I going to try to say? You're not running as one person, you're running as a entire clan. So you got to make sure you keep on top of everything all the time. It gets annoying. Yes, I understand. But you got to make sure everyone is healthy and all oh and another tip um, whenever you're cold go inside a cave it doesn't matter where you are you could be traveling or whatever get inside a cave stay inside that cave or stay underneath a lot of trees because you won't be as cold okay next thing these branches right here you can use them as bedding. Very good for starters. Make a lot of these. A lot, a lot. So we'll drop it. Yep. Drop. Okay. Add to pile. Okay, so when you're starting out, you can, you have only four. But later on, you'd be able to go down to two. So look, see that it's a sleeping spot. You want to have at least three to five. Probably six to be safe because uh, your clan will go sleep on them. And it actually helps improve sleep or it manages your sleeping. If you sleep on the ground, you're not going to get a lot of sleep. Make sure you have sleep spots. It's very good. Next thing branches inspect cool new tool yep okay uh wait wait oh yeah end end oh sorry index okay drop it lie down evolution we'll go into evolution 
Okay, we haven't really unlocked a lot, so we'll go ahead. Yes. Cool. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna dive on in here. So, the reason why it says two reinforcements, you can save up to two traits, like this trait or this trait, and you'll be good next generation. But when it, you gain a reinforcements by each kid you can have, you can only have six kids. I don't know why it's a rule is set. Six kids, six adults, six elders. That's the max. So your clan total is 18. That's the largest you can get. But um, whenever you do change generation, make sure you do choose the right traits. And speaking, well, we don't have as many adults. But you see the top there where it says day two, year zero. And you want to have kids, and you get. Let's see, is this a female? Oh, perfect. Okay. okay. Yeah, follow me. Sure. Here we go ahead. Oh, wait, wait no. Uh. Nope, nope. Oh, yeah, your females, they can mate with your elders, or your elder males. Okay, is this... He's single. Follow me. Follow me. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. So... No, you're the female. You are the male. Okay. Groom. Listen for the click. There's a click. 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 And click. Okay. Not going to show it, but... Um, also, for females, they can only have two kids. Each female can have two kids. But whenever you have three females and they're all fertile... Like this one is. Uh, make sure you get each couple. Here, I'll show you. Okay, switch. And you go to sleep spot. You lie down. You call your mate. And then you mate. But don't give birth yet. Reason why. Two different reasons. One, if you're going to go hunting, use the female. The female is actually good. It has more energy. When they're pregnant, they have more energy. So that's good. Um, but you, you want to make sure you have all three females pregnant at the same time. And when you're ready to give birth, just have one of your females go to her bed call our mate, give birth, and the game will give birth to all three babies. I've seen YouTubers go up, lie down, and give birth one baby at a time. That's progressing, the, or that's making your years go longer. Don't do that. You're actually hurting yourself. By doing that, you're risking your elders dying sooner. Yes, well, elders, they, they can only live so long you know so you want to have everyone give birth at the same time so that means you will only be progressing two years that's really good do that now the other thing where's the stick when you're at your starting place take your stick switch hands alter listen for the click if you do the if you do the click like just barely a second after or as close as you can you will get it right on the spot each time I'll show you what happens if you don't do that take the stick 
Say so yeah, I'm gonna go on alter it. Oh look, I broke it. So you gotta do it right after the click. Once you hear it, click it. Now, other tool you want to use all the time. Get obsidian. Perfect start right here. Obsidian. Oh wait, I gotta inspect it. Oh, stop. Inspect it. Okay, cool. Switch hands. Get another piece of obsidian or granite or whatever. Obsidian works better with obsidian. Alter it. Hit. Oh, crap. <laughs> Switch hands. Get another one. So this one, you got to do it right on target. What I'm doing, I'm creating a sharpener. You need sharpeners. You can, oh, there we go. Switch hands, inspect. Yep. Oh, I didn't even finish it. Okay, inspect it. Okay, cool. Switch hands, drop it. Take your stick. Switch hands again. Alter it. There we go. Look. Cool. Now we have a spear. Now we got a better chance at defending ourselves. Now. You can crush any stone together and make almost a sharpener or a grinder. It has several names. But you always want to have a spear in hand with you. Why? Because later on, or not that far in the game actually, when you go out and explore, there will be tigers. There will be panthers. All these aggressive animals. And they will attack you out of nowhere and you need to have a spear in hand at all times so you're prepared we will okay well we need to get some rest so lie down let's sleep i try to sleep in between 22 and 24 till about four or five see so like he's having monkey dreams but reason why four or five about between that time is when the sun starts rising see right now Okay, and drop the stick. See, look, everyone's like, "What are we doing?" Go over here. Go ahead, drink. Always drink all the time. Every time you wake up, if you, if you took like a two to three hour nap, always drink. Always drink. Okay, hence my next deal. Eat. Eat all the time. Oh, actually. Ooh. No, 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 no. Give me one. Give me one. Okay. Now we can alter it. Switch hands. Alter. Ah! No, no, this one's real quick. Okay. There we go. Oh. Nope. Switch hands. Inspect. That stuff is good for eating, but guess what? You apply it. It's good for stopping ble bleeding or preventing bleeding. It's also, when you eat it, it's preventing your bones from breaking. So from falling from a very high place. That's good. And now I'm good against, if I get attacked right now, I'd be good. Because I have that. Next thing, practice your timing. So oh, we gotta expect the rock. This is exactly how it's going to be at the very beginning. You got to inspect almost every single thing. 
lift all the rocks you can. Time it. Perfect. There's more rocks underneath. Look. Lifting. Oop. Okay. See, look. You see those deals we keep on earning? Keep on doing extra stuff. The reason why is actually the reason for this game. You are trying to evolve faster than what your ancestors did. So, if you lie down, evolution. Okay, I unlock more stuff. Evolution. Here's all the things. I wish they actually give you a hint of what you're supposed to do. So, explore, explore, expand. That means. Like your colony, or like your new settlement, evolve, perfect, um, that's me using tools and all that. When it says ready to, you need to have as many stuff as possible done. Like make sure, like if you get to a stopping point, like you have, I don't know, 20 ready on evolved, uh, 10 ready on explore, and 20 ready on expand. Go ahead, you'll come here, but you gotta, you gotta skip generation, and you go through the ages. And as you see in the bottom left hand corner, you got the lineage, which is you, and then science. Lineage, you wanna wait out like you want to do as much as you can in the beginning then progress but you want to make sure you have a lot of births and no deaths I have one death because well that's how the beginning of the game is you have one death all the time no matter what you can't prevent it it's part of the cutscene but you want to do as much as you can because if you do that do as much as you can, kill animals, find a lot of places, expand your clan to fully 18. Actually, if you get your clan up to 18, then settle somewhere else, then you are good to go. You just completed five different things. That's really impressive, it's just for one move. But reason why you want to wait until you think you're ready is because you can be ahead of science. The game is you're supposed to be ahead of science. You're supposed to complete this entire chart and be ahead of science. Uh, my other playthrough I'm doing, um, I'm barely ahead of science by 20,000 years, barely. But each, each thing that is developed is about five to fifteen. It, it just it just depends, but it, it's far up there, a lot of thousand years. But you want to make sure you have a lot of births because having a lot of births actually adds a lot to your side. Deaths they take away, but okay, we're good. Oh, one thing too. Another thing before I do go. Before you do anything, you want to look around. Listen for different things. Actually, it's hard because it's raining. But if you find exiles, awesome. There's only two things you can do for exiles. You can either give them food or you can give them a coconut, which is up in that tree, very close to camp. You crack it, and that's their water source. So if someone's thirsty or whatever, perfect. Just give them that water. But keep exploring. Don't push yourself too far. And experiment. Experiment different ways. Find out what there is to do. But this is it for this uh, tutorial. I hope you guys all liked it. Please like, comment, 
and please subscribe and tell me any suggestions or anything I left out. I wasn't going to go too, too much depth because I figured I'd let you guys um, discover on your own what else there is to do. But I just want to cover those tips. So, like I said, if you liked it, please come back for another video. Later.